Hey y'all, it's Kyla. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a product that kind of actually blew up um on like instagram and stuff i was like um that's so cute and i need to get one like right now i haven't seen that many people on youtube reviewing it but i will tag the person that i saw that says they created the video or whatever i'll link them down below to give them credit where credit is due so without further ado let's get into the video okay so what we're going to be reviewing today is the mini beauty blender washing machine and first of all like how cute is this thing like it is so so cute um, i don't really know the brand of this but i just ordered it off of amazon and it literally took so long to get here like as soon as i saw the videos i was like i need that and i ordered it on amazon i think it was like three or four dollars and then it took a while to get here like a month or two so when it came in the mail i was like what is that i didn't even remember that i had ordered it and i literally got so excited when i saw what it was anyway so this is the packaging let's just open it up i think i already broke it i'm not even gonna lie i've already opened it because it needs a little teeny tiny little screwdriver and then two AAA batteries so i just went ahead and already put those in here but this is what it looks like it is so so cute here's the top it has like fake buttons and then this is the button that makes it actually turn and then you lift up the lid and then it has the little spinner down there and then it also has a little drain and like it actually drains out the water um and i think that is literally like the cutest part of this toy um because i mean this is a child's toy it is not actually meant for beauty blenders or brushes or anything like that so i do want to disclaim that okay so i have five pretty disgusting if i'm being honest um beauty blenders here and i don't know which ones we're gonna try but we're definitely gonna try some out um and i also brought like a couple makeup brushes um just to try those maybe too and i also have like um this mini beauty blender cleaner so we'll go ahead and use that since it is to clean beauty blenders and then i guess i'll just use this little thing it came with to drain the water because i didn't think this through and i don't have anything to drain it into so we'll just use this um, first of all i want to make sure <laughs> Okay, so it does actually spin when you push this button. You can see. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour some water into this. I'm actually scared. I don't know why, but I'm scared. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know how much I should put. Um, I'm scared. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in here. Okay, that looks like enough. So you guys see this beauty blender is literally just disgusting. So we're just gonna put it in there. She's in there and then we're gonna, okay, so she's moving. Okay, so it does actually spin. Um, and as you can tell, the water is actually getting dirty. So that's exciting, okay. Let's take it out and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so it looks like it only cleaned in like a little circle around it. Um, let's flip it over and do that side. Okay, maybe not. The lid is definitely very cheap because it's hard to keep it down. Um, all right. all right, there she goes, kind of. Okay, so it's getting a little stuck. All right, so this one's getting stuck. Um, just 
I'm gonna squeeze that out. Okay, so I don't think it's working too well, but I mean, you can definitely see it's cleaning up a little bit, and of course, the water is like brown now. Yeah, so it definitely works well if it has a lot of water in there. Um, it seems to work better. No. Oh, goodness. Okay, so I'm just gonna squeeze that out. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's definitely still pretty dirty, um, especially down here, but you can see it cleaned the middle part pretty well. Just like the top and the bottom are really hard to get clean with this. Um, so let's drain the water. This is the part I'm actually really um, scared about. So, okay. I'm scared. Okay. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I just made a mess everywhere. Cool. All right, so most of it's drained out. I'm making a mess. Okay, so you definitely have to be careful because some was leaking out right here. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Um, this time I think I want to try with the little mini beauty blender. So we're going to pour in our water. I don't think I need a lot for the mini one. Our cleaner. And then we're just going to stick her in. And we'll see what happens. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that thing is going so fast in there. She is getting cleaned. So I think it definitely works better for smaller things. Oh my goodness, it's leaking out. Um, my little drain is not very secure in there. So it's definitely getting foamy. So, um, again, I feel like the points just don't get cleaned. I'm not sure why, but it definitely worked better with the small one because um, the water actually got foamy and it spun a lot faster. So let's go ahead and let that drain out. So let's pour some water. Oh my goodness, it is foaming out the little tube. Embarrassing. Okay. Yeah, the thing is very hard to like stay secure in there. Um, so we're gonna clean this one now. As you can see, it is a little dirty, not too bad. In the other video, the girl used this Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Cleanser. So I'm gonna try that. Since she tried that, we'll try it too. I don't know how much I should put in there. I think that's more than enough. Okay, so we've got our cleanser down in there. And now we're just gonna, oh gosh, this is definitely too full. It's okay. Okay. I think I put way too much water in there. Uh-oh, she's starting to spin a little. Well, she wants to. Just doesn't have enough room. Okay, I'll push her. I put way too much water. Okay. We'll just drain some of this out. Now we'll try. Maybe is there not enough water now? Like, what is going on? Okay, we'll put a little bit more. Maybe we'll turn it over this way. Okay. All right, it's not spinning. Cool. Come on. Oh my gosh, it is leaking water out of this 
like so bad. Okay, don't know what happened. All right, well, we can definitely see the color change in the water. Okay, so you can definitely tell it took some grossness out of it. After we clean it with soap, we're gonna just clean it with like just water and see what happens. Um, see if okay, it's not working. Okay. All right, it doesn't want to spin anymore. spin going. Awesome. Okay, no more spin. What the heck? All right. What about the baby one? We'll put her in there. Okay. So this definitely works better with the small ones. Um, Awesome. Let's drain her out. Oh my gosh, it's just falling out of the bottom and I don't know why. So the last thing I wanted to do was try to clean some of my brushes. Um, so we're just going to kind of do the same technique. We are going to pour in the water. Add a little bit of the cleanser. And we'll go with this one first. It's pretty dirty. Um, and we'll just stick her in there, I guess. Okay, so I can already tell that it's cleaned. Um, but the thing is, you're definitely gonna have to like rinse your brushes off after or like have a towel beside you. Okay, that definitely got that cleaned. Um, that's cool. All right, let's try another one that's a little more obvious. This one is like, has gold and then on one side and then it has like pink glitter on the other side. So we'll put that one in there. So maybe we can see a little better the, um, before and after. So I'm just going to wipe this off with the towel very gently. Okay, so the gold side, if it wants to focus, do we want to focus? There we go. Um, the gold side came pretty clean and the pink side came pretty clean as well. Um, it's just like a little pink left on there, but all in all, I think it, I mean, did pretty well. Let's clean this brush. Um, clearly has foundation on it, so let's try this one now. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more cleanser as well, because that one's a big brush. Okay, it doesn't wanna work with that one. Okay, it doesn't wanna spin with the big brush in there. going to wipe this one off um so are we gonna focus again there we go um it did not do well with the big brush um very obviously you can still see that it's pretty gross um so yeah that one didn't really work out for the bigger brush but i think we can all agree that it definitely helped clean these two smaller brushes um just not the big one so well. And with the Beauty Blenders, it helped around the center. I don't know why just the center, but it really did not get the top or bottom of this very well. 
and with the small one again it did not get the top as well okay so all in all my final review of this i literally just broke it okay let me try to fix this real quick so all in all my final review of this little um washing machine is um I just think that it is exactly what it is. It is a toy. It is not something that can thoroughly clean your beauty blenders as well as they need to be cleaned. I mean, if you're having a lazy day and you don't feel like going to wash it and this is just on your little vanity and you want to throw it in there, like cool for a one time type of thing. Um, if your beauty blender is not already too dirty, I would say, you know, go ahead and maybe use this just like one time, not like over and over and over for weeks. Like, I don't think that would work out very well. Um, and I don't know if mine's just like really crappily put together, but like the lid kind of like, it's just like very floppy and just not made very well. And then the little drain falls off and this part comes out. It's like very loose down here and I don't really know how to fix that. It's not really working with me. And then for some reason, mine started to like leak out of the bottom. I'm not really sure where it was coming from, but I'm kind of concerned considering there's batteries right here. Um, I don't know. Oh, it's leaking out the top. Okay. So yeah, mine started leaking out of the bottom and it like got all over my vanity. So I'll have to clean that up. So I feel like um, for me, it would be just as much of a hassle to just get up and go to my bathroom and just simply wash my beauty blender. And I think that would definitely be more effective than this, um, which makes me sad because I mean, like it is so, so cute. Like it is very, very cute. Um, and I really wanted it to work because it's so cute. Um, but like I said, it just didn't really work. Um, so for the big beauty blender, it did clean around the like center pretty well. and But like the top of it and the bottom weren't cleaned very well. And I'm not really sure why. But I mean, I mean, it's honestly not too terrible if you used a beauty blender on the side. But the fact that it didn't get the top and bottom um, is the reason I wouldn't use my beauty blender after using it. Um, and then like this really small like eye one, um, you could definitely tell it spun a lot faster so I thought it would work a lot better. Um, but again, it didn't really get the top very well. So that is something to consider as well. And then for the brushes, again, like the bigger size, it didn't really work that well. Um, it didn't really clean any of the foundation off of here, honestly. Like it really didn't clean any. But these brushes, you could definitely see a difference. I mean, this was golden pink. Um, it does have a little teeny pink in the middle, but I mean, you could definitely not see any gold. And then this was literally black. So um, smaller brushes, I pretty, I would definitely probably use it for just like cleaning off my smaller brushes. Um, I would definitely use it for that, but a bigger brush or like a big beauty blender or really a beauty blender period I personally probably wouldn't use um, I'll show you the water that's left in here um, so you can definitely like see the color in this like it's not clear water obviously so I mean it did try to work um, it did get some of the product off obviously but just again not well enough for my personal liking um, but like I said, this is a toy. It was meant for children. It is meant for it to be a kid's toy. So, I mean, I feel like it performed as well as a kid's toy probably could perform. Um, like I said, I just think it's so cute and I'm actually kind of disappointed that it didn't work out because I don't know. But like I said, I'll probably still use this like just to like spot clean my brushes up here every now and then. Um, definitely not something I would use on the daily, as I said. But for four dollars, like it's fine. Like it's it was literally like three or four dollars. It's not like I spent eighty dollars on this thing. Like it was literally three or four dollars. So it's not really a loss. Um, but yeah, so that is my final review and opinion on it um again the main thing is just that it's simply cute 
and I feel like that's why everyone got on the trend of it because it was it was cute um not really because they wanted something to clean their beauty blender I think um but I don't know if you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up if you tried this out yourself then drop a comment down below and let me know how it worked out for you or if you saw another video and it worked out better for someone um, I would like to see how they used it so that maybe I could try it out and see if it changes anything. Um, but that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.